presence and it's a blessing to be here. Amen. I say it again, it's a blessing yes. to be here. Amen. 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 Yes. Uh, we're not here just because we wanted to be here. We're here because God extended his grace and his mercy in our favor. So when somebody do you a favor, you're supposed to tell them thank you. Isn't that right? Yes. This is our, this is our you know, it's the second Sunday. We wasn't here last Sunday. I hope you missed us. We miss y'all. Amen. 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 If you didn't miss me, don't tell me. <laughs> Amen. We miss y'all, Get it. Uh, I call it a worship. Mr. Carey, we have Keith's first appreciation is next Sunday. Amen. Uh, we've been doing so much and going through so much. Just forget. Amen. Thank God we're still here and alive. Amen. Uh, we've been going through so much. But God. But God. Keeps us. Let us stand in the presence of the Lord. God, thou has been our dwelling place for all generations. For the mountains were brought forth from everlasting to everlasting, from the beginning of our life until now, you are God. We thank you for the privilege to come and to worship you in spirit and in truth. God, we pray that you would, we ask that you would release your power, spirit, in a mighty way in your worship service. As we commune, as we do communion service, yes. help us to always commune with you. Amen. Bless God as only you can. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 May be seated, Minister Richard, will read the scripture. Sean to pray, and then we will do the act of communion service, and the deacons will serve you. Amen. 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 The scripture this morning will be coming from Matthew chapter 26, starting at the 26th verse. And it reads as follows And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said take eat this is my body mm -hmm. and he took the cup and gave thanks mm -hmm. and gave it to them saying drink ye all of it for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for many for the remission of sin but i say unto you I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the mouth of Jesus. Amen. Thank God for his word. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Father, we come once again to yes. say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for another opportunity, God, to practice one of the sacraments that you commanded yes. us to do, God. Yes. Now, God, we ask that you will examine our hearts, yes. that you wash us, cleanse us under the blood of Jesus. Yes. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we do only pray. And all God's people say, Amen. Amen. Deacons, come. Deacons, come.
wonderful thing that Jesus loved us so much that he yeah. died. Yeah. He did something for us that we couldn't do for ourselves. Amen. It's a blessing. Amen. Amen. It is his grace. Yes. And his mercy. Yes. Amen. 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 It is his grace and his mercy. Amen. So when somebody do something for you, mm-hmm. you ought to tell them thank you. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Everybody been served. <laughs> that with me again, please. As you peel back and take the bread, which represents his body, the reflection back to Calvary. Yes. Thank you. Him hanging, yes. the sins of the world, that we may live. Amen. He blessed the bread. He said, take and eat of it. Likewise, the cup, which represents his blood. We know blood represents life. I laid it down for you. And I am so awesome and powerful, I picked it back up for you to live. Take and drink of it. And as often as you do this, you do it in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. Tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 As we compose ourselves, you have a seat, and the urchin will assist you with the cups. We ask the minister Curry would bless us. The ministers return to the pulpit, and we'll be right back. Melvin. Melvin, Melvin. Fix that. It's crooked and it's gonna show. Pull it on this side. Okay, here.
through you. I thank God. I don't want our babies to be like them grow up. Amen. They may get grown, but they still our babies. Isn't that right? Ain't no baby like a shady grow baby. We honor the Lord in your presence. Yeah. It is so good to be here yeah. and to be among you once again. Yes, sir. Uh, Amen. A week from Shade Grove seemed like a month. Right, sir. Amen. Why right. you say that? What well, love got to do with it? Everything. Yeah. Amen. And I'm not talking about I continue to need it. I'm talking about Pastor and Sister Henderson. Amen. Right. And if you want to call us, I can tell you, go ahead. But this is a little different story. Amen. Amen. I, I thank God for you. So you grow, we honor the Lord and say again in your presence to these ministers of the gospel. Amen. And Joan of Stamps, Mr. Rich, and Minister Sean. Amen. Stepping up and carrying on last week. Yes, Amen. Yes. And as time goes forward, we'll pray and, and look at merging to one service because we don't have to get there, but we're waiting. I'm going to tell you one of the reasons we're waiting because sometime when the weather breaks, we want to break to the beach. Amen. Right. And we break to the beach and I'm not going to go up. Right. And we break back. Come on, talk to me. Amen. You're right. I, I don't go to beat, but some of you all go. Yes, and then you act like you don't. Go because, right. Amen. You, you put it on Facebook. <laughs> and then you put it on Facebook. It ain't nobody big. <laughs> well, it ain't nobody big. Why you put it on Facebook? Because on Facebook, it happens. <laughs> Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Right. Right. So, yes, sir. we'll wait properly and see what the Lord going to do. Excuse me, after that, we thank you for your prayers and we thank you for your support. And we have a letter that will reflect that later. Love is what love does. Amen. And I tell you what, amen. I, got, I experienced something last week that took me to another level when it comes to God. Well, amen. Well, amen. amen. That's something you only do once, you're not going to do it twice. You only do it once when you lay your mother to rest. And then you speak the final words over her. That's an honor. Amen. Amen. It's an honor, but it's a hurting honor. Yes. But God. Say it again. But God. Yes, but God. We can do all things through Christ yes. who has strengthened us. Yes, sir. Amen. There is a word. Well, that word is found in the book of Ephesians, the second chapter. And we're going to deal with verse two, 1 through 4. I'm just going to read verse 4. Amen. I think it's a great word because it's out of God's word. And God's word always a great word. So good to see you. You look even better than you did last time I saw you. How about that? Now, you supposed to tell me I look, you know, you supposed to, when I tell you something, you supposed to tell me back, amen? Ain't that right, Sherry? Amen. Ain't that right, Susan, tell me? Amen. Absolutely. Tell me back, amen. <laughs> tell me back. Laugh is good for the soul. Amen. 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 Ephesians 2, verse 4 says, but God. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor, but God. But God. Tell the one that supposed to be there, but God. But God. Tell the one that we hope to be there next time, but God. But God. But God. Hallelujah. Who is rich uh -huh. in mercy. Yeah, right. uh -huh. For his great love 
wherein he loved us. Amen. Let's pray. God, we pray now you bless your word. Yes, Lord. Bring edification to your people. Yes, you be glorified yes, in all that we do. And all that we say. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. The message from God is. Uh -huh. But uh, <laughs> the message from God is. All right. But uh, right. homiletically sound. Uh -huh. I would use for a subtopic. God can turn it around. He has turned the world around or given the world an opportunity. God did that through Jesus. Amen? Because before Christ, people of the world tried and could not keep the law. But God gave us grace All right. through Jesus mm -hmm. the Savior. Amen. That's why the cross is so important All right. to us. Yes. Calvary All right. is something special yes, to those believers. Yes, but Calvary is not the end of the story. Right. Right. He had to go down and yes, take the sting out of death. That's right. Take the victory out of the grave. Rose on the third day with the declaration with all power. All right. Tell your neighbor again, all power all right. is given unto him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So say it again. But God. But God. Amen. 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 The Spirit of God here in this text uses the recorder, Paul, to record these words of edification for us today. And the word of God is to further our understanding of the believer's life. Mm -hmm. What was that life like before Christ came in and set up residence? All right. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. I said what that life was like before we got saved. And I hope and pray that everybody is saved here today. If not, amen. I'm going to extend the invitation at the end of the message. Amen. But want to look at what it was like before we came into the saving knowledge uh -huh. of Jesus the Christ. Yes. Somebody had to tell us about you're going to need a savior, you need an anchor, you need somebody and that is the Lord that will never leave you, that will never forsake you. You need somebody that will save you from your sin. Amen. And make you whole. That, amen. We are not perfect, but we are perfect. We got a perfect Savior. We got a Savior that took on the sin of the world. That died on the cross. Went in the grave and got up on the third day morning. Then all that sight took body. Amen. Well, you ought to know Amen. that it was a past and present. Yes, sir. Isn't that right? Uh -huh. Now, if you don't know whether you were lost and now you saved, you might be in the same condition that you was. Amen. Come on, talk to me. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to let you know that water baptism mm -hmm. does not save you. Come on, sir. You get baptized because you're saved. Because if you're not saved, then you just took a bath without soap. Amen. Isn't that right? So in other words, you could go ahead and just take a shower at home. Am I right? Amen. We we got baptized because you confess Jesus as you're saved. Before coming to the saving knowledge of Christ. Well. Notice, church, when God looks, 
down upon anybody who is unconverted. All right. How does God see them? Well, what is the picture or thought of God? Right. Amen. Sure. Of Make anyone sure. who is unseen. All right. We know the answer. Fix it. Amen. But first, let's look at a few things. Mm -hmm. All right. Then before the answer is mentioned. Mm -hmm. right. Well, church, to get to full understanding, we must turn back and review the chapter. Mm -hmm. Beginning at verse 1. All right. Pray with me. Yes, Amen. Verse 1, we see a lifestyle mm -hmm. of death. And amen. And you, the Bible said, you have been quickened. You've been made alive. Who were dead in sin. Another right. yeah. uh, Romans 6.23 says, for the wages. That means payday. A right. sin is spiritual death. Yeah. Can I go ahead and give you the rest of it? Right. But the gift of God yeah. is eternal life yes, to Jesus right. and Jesus alone. He said it again in John 14. I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the light. Verse 2. A lifestyle. Just before Christ. Y'all with me? A, pre, a trans, <laughs> trespasses and sin. We were traveling. The desires were ungodly. And we were children of disobedience. Uh -huh. Aware. Amen. Amen. We were just we were just messed up. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. All right. A lifestyle All right. of talking the wrong language right. and listening to the wrong spirit. Right. Hanging with the wrong people. Right. Therefore headed in the wrong direction. Right. This is the life before Christ. Y'all right. still with me, right? Yes, Verse 3, a lifestyle uh -huh. under the wrath of God. Uh -huh. Motives and desires yes. to do anything I want to do. Right. And, 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 and bad enough to tell anybody right. I do what I want to do. Right. And when I get ready to do it, well, we was messed up. Yes, but then God Right. Made a way yes, for us to be fixed up. Yes, there is a difference between making mistakes in sin right. apart from living a lifestyle of sin. Amen. You have a witness here. Yes. The Bible says if you confess your sins in first child, yes. he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from the rock. That means what? We gonna mess up, but we don't make a list every moment. Premeditate messing up. Premeditate hurting somebody. Premeditate. Come on, talk to me. We don't make a list of it, but just in case. Amen. We, but John said we can confess it, own up to it. I'm not perfect. Amen. Amen. Let me take my breath for a minute. Go on. Amen. 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 Therefore, none of us ought to walk around living like we the holiest thing right. in the world. Come on now. We serve a holy God yeah. that should tie and look low. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We have no authority or right. They turn our nose down. That's well, right. On him. That's right. Am I right about it? Amen. You, you, we are what we are. That's right. Through Christ. Amen. 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 Who is rich Amen. in grace yes, and mercy. Yes, he rich enough yes, to bless yes, Superintendent. He rich enough yes, to bless Brother Curry. He rich enough yes, to get Brother Mark. He rich enough. Yes, but that means he got enough richness. But God. But God. Listen. In the center of our message 
today. Verse 4 teaches but God. Mm -hmm. Who is rich in mercy? Yeah. I'm so glad All right. that God is rich in mercy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I told that I told the crowd last week. So many people down at the house, the late young lady that passed, I said, don't take life for granted. That's, That's right. right. Do it. Amen. Because what life don't belong to us. That's, That's right. right. I said, life don't belong to us. Right. We just on loan. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. From God. Yes, sir. And I tell you what, when God get ready for us, yes, sir. That's amen. It. You got to go. Yes, That's right. it. You got to move. Yes, but one thing about it, when you've been born again, yes, the Bible said that a a amen. For me to die is gain. Yes, you will have a witness and how they say I'm ready to go. Well, but I'm prepared. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Said I got my business straight. Yes, Amen. 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 They talk the old talk. Yes, Amen. So what? The older I'm getting, I'm starting talking old to talk. <laughs> I didn't say I was old, but I'm getting there. <laughs> and I tell you what, you keep living, you're going to get that too. Amen. Am I right about it? I hope so. So what? You all talk. Amen. They were trying to teach us something. Yes, I got my business straight. What they mean is, amen, some glad moment. All right, all right. When it's over. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Amen, I'm going to fly away uh -huh. and be with the Lord. Yes, sir. So what? Verse, verse 4 teaches us, but God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherein he loved us. Yes, sir. Isn't that good? Yes, sir. Amen. God loved me. Amen. 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 People may not. Some people do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Love got some action. Right. But I know what? Yes. When I'm feeling like nobody else loves me, Come on, God, God loves yes, That's enough. Am I right? That's Amen. enough. Amen. And me and God That's enough. will fill up the house. Yes. That's enough right there. That's enough. Me and God. Yes. That thing is for us. <laughs> me and God. In the text, is teaching us the life of the Christian believer, the believer's conversion, the work of God, mercy. Oh, yeah. Amen. Would you agree that one of the most astounding words in this text is the word but? But. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yes. And the word but is preparation for that which is to come. Amen. But God looked beyond our thoughts yes. and saw a hearing need. Amen. Amen. When I prayed, but God answered my prayer. Yes, when I trusted, but God. Do I have a witness here? Right. You got to talk to God and God will talk back yes, to you. Yes, we are weak, but God uh -huh. who is rich in mercy. Yes, sir. And you might hear me say that four or five times. But it still won't be enough. God has intervened. Amen. He has intervened us when we amen gave him our life. He intervened and changed our destiny. He changed the final destination of our life. Every one of us go have eternal life. I said every one of us go have eternal life. Amen. But I choose to go with Jesus. To walk the streets of gold. I choose to walk swing on the pearly gates. And the reason why I'm going with him, because I've given him my heart. And now I'm walking in grace. I'm walking in mercy. So yeah. God, when I trusted him, pray that God preach it all. God has interrupted. The doom of death That's right. and judgment. Yes, Amen. You know what that means? That means now he stopped my death penalty. Amen. And he's holding off on judgment for a while because he what? We got grace and mercy. So he have on his mercy road. But one of these days, he gonna take off his mercy road. Then he gonna put on the judgment road. And those that there is no God. Those that think they don't need a Savior. Those that think they don't need to pray. Those that think they need some kind of God. The Bible said every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that He is Lord. Say yeah. 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 Alright now. 
Yeah. All right now. Let me teach you a little more. Take your time. Yes. I, I, I believe I will. Yes, God. Yeah. But God, All right. again, who is rich in mercy? Yes. In the text, we see God's mercy. Mm-hmm. Amen. Let, let me talk a bit about his mercy. Mm-hmm. God is full of mercy. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. You laid down last night. Yes. It was mercy that watched over you. Yes. You got up this morning, didn't you? Yes. I know you did. You're looking at me. Amen. And I'm looking at you. And I hope you got a spirit of thanksgiving. Yes. Because you were God's mercy. Yes. Amen. Henderson didn't get me up. Yes. My last name didn't get me up. Right. What kind of clothes I wear, how I look. Right. Amen. Didn't get me up. Right. How well you may think I can preach or sing. Didn't get me up. Right. It was just grace and mercy yes, that got me up this morning. And when I got up, when I woke up, I had sense enough. I had a heart to say, thank you, Lord, for one more opportunity. Yeah. 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 Full of mercy. Yeah. Can I tell you what mercy is? Feelings of pity. Yes. And God has compassion on us. God has an affection. Yes. He has kindness yes. toward us. Yeah. Anybody ever read behind Jesus? Whoever he dealt with, he showed compassion. Amen. He got on the level to talk to. Do I have a witness here? Even though he was the savior of the world, he didn't make nobody feel like they were nobody. He made everybody feel like they were somebody that needed somebody higher than who they were. The one that the well would wanted a drink of water, but Jesus said, I can give you something that you never thirst again. I can but quench your soul. Two things are essential in order to have mercy. Yes, sir. Can I tell you what it is? Amen. Not only seeing the need, but being able to meet the need. Jesus saw that we need a Savior. So he said, a God saw it rather said, I'm on. Meet the need. I'm going to give him a savior. And the savior going to give his life. That we may live. Need. That means we may live, brother. And even with us. If God puts somebody in our path. The word said we ought not just talk to them. We ought not just see the need. And we've been dealing with Bible study. Amen. We need to what? Address the need. Amen. If a person is hungry, we ought not tell them, I know you're hungry. But we ought to be trying to give them something to eat. For the Bible said, faith without works is dead. Being alone. Amen. If I say I love somebody and don't never do nothing for them. And don't never come on, let them know that I appreciate it. Then what faith without works is dead. Well, have a witness here. Yeah. You say you love Shady Grove. And you're always talking down Shady Grove. And you're always come on somebody. Yeah. Amen. Love is what love does. Yeah. God is there. He finished with God's song. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. God's son sees our need of a Savior. Yeah. I say again, he provides saving power. Yeah. Amen. Through his spirit and his son. Uh-huh. I said earlier, I hope you're not tired of John 3, 16. Uh-huh. Amen. For God so loved the word. Uh-huh. Go ahead and finish the sentence. That he gave what? Only begotten. And whosoever shall not perish. But, but God. Amen. We have been quickened. Made alive. In other words, we was messed up. But God fixed us up. I said, but God, it is God alone that withhold his judgment. It is God that provides a way for us to be saved. Romans 5 and 8, but God commanded his love toward us. And that's why we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. Tell the Lord, thank you today. Amen. God is love. Mm-hmm. I just want to remind you that, that God is love today. Yes. He is full of love. Yes. He has the agape love. Yes. Uh, have you ever dealt with anybody that had fussy love? 
They'll love you one day and then hate your guts the next day. Am I right about it? But when you got the love of God in your heart, you can't have boo your love. You even pray for those that you know can't stand. Yes. Yes. Greater is he that's in me. Yes. That he that's in the world. In the world. Yes, the world will tell me to not pray for you. Yes. But God said, I, amen, I put my spirit, yes, amen, inside of you. You got to pray for those that you know hate your good. Yes. Ain't it all right to me? Yes, Love, yes. oh, Father, I'm, amen. Love of God. Amen. amen. We even have you praying for a person. Amen. That God feel or somebody feel that they are even not unworthy to pray for. Amen. This love is compared to sacrifice. Amen. Won't God do it? And he up right to do Can I say it again with me? But God. Say it today. But God. Amen. Say it with me. But God. God look beyond my thoughts and saw my need. When I lay down last night, but God woke me up early in the morning. When I was in my sin, but God saved a rich like me. Go ahead and tell God thank you. It is the Lord, amen, that blesses us every day. And before I go to my seat, I want to go around memory lane. Amen. Uh, about Bunga. Uh, the children of Israel uh, was at the Red Sea. Uh, but God, uh, amen. I said, but God, uh, God called uh, the heavenly contractors uh, and they pulled a sidewalk uh, and the children of Israel walked home. Amen. Dry away. Uh, amen. Uh, the prophet Elijah uh, told the widow God, uh, God said, feed me first. Uh, and when she obeys, uh, but God uh, opened up the windows uh, of heaven uh, and made her meal, but they never went in. Uh, amen. Less than a six feet, David uh, was up against a ten feet Goliath. Uh, but God uh, gave David power uh, to slay Goliath. Uh, Joseph uh, told his brother, you meant bad toward me. Uh, but God uh, turned the situation around. Uh, Three young men that were thrown in a fiery furnace, but God allowed them to come out. No smell, smoke on their clothes. Ain't all right today. Daniel was thrown in a lion den for praying to his God, but God turned the lion den into a restful resort. Ain't it all right today? To jail for preachers. What go on in prison uh, for preaching the truth? Uh, but God uh, at midnight uh, broke the security code uh, and he unranked. Uh, Come here, Shady Grove. Uh, you are here today uh, and you didn't know, amen, you didn't know you was going to make it. Uh, there have been times uh, when you cheat on where you meet. Uh, pressure and pain, uh, pain and pressure. Uh, pressure and pain, uh, pain and pressure. Uh, Last week, 
laid my hand on my mother. And if you got God, 
He'll give you some finances. Amen. 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 Yeah, it will. Yes, it will. And all of it don't rattle. Oh, right. right. Amen. Amen. Thank God for his word. Thank God for his word. Let's go. I pray you was blessed and inspired yes. by the message. Amen. Amen. Inspiration lasts a lifetime. Yes. Amen. Amen. Happiness can be for a short period. When you inspire, it lasts a lifetime. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. I extend an invitation to Christ. Of course, God added one to the church this morning. Amen. Young man. Amen. I tell you, man come crying. Some, uh, I'm not saying men don't cry. Amen. But I do. Amen. Amen. Most of the time later, cry in a minute. Yeah. Or a man come crying. That's something. I tell you, there's something about that. Yes, sir. Yes, man. He was crying. He said, I want to be a part of this ministry. That's a blessing. Amen. It is. Because as a preacher, as a pastor, I want somebody to come forward every, every Sunday. And God said, it's not you. I got this. You just delivered the mail. You just delivered the message. Even the mail man you know, on the post office. He just delivered the mail. Guess what? I'm a boss. I'm a mail man for the Lord. I don't own it. Can't save you. But I can tell you about it. He can save you. How you know? He saved me. You can't talk about nothing you don't know nothing about. That's right. That's right. Amen. But God, look beyond. Now, if you're here today and you want to give Christ your life or you want to 